जाने मन अपने नाम क्या क्या लगाते हैं ऑफिस आप कीजिए आपका कैमरा लोग मैं अकेले आऊंगा सवाल जब यहाँ पर आए थे इतने मर्जी कर लो मुझे लगा था मैं तो आज तक हेलो माई जी गो एंथुजियस वेलकम टू दी अल्टीमेट डेस्टिनेशन फॉर मास्टरिंग दी आर्ट ऑफ लीगल डोमेन थ्रू कॉन्टेंट एंड क्रिएटिविटी सो हे वी आर uh all talk taking about taking your manage lego experience to the next level from the efficient legal tips to according to law we have got the content you have been waiting for whether you are a manage lego veteran or just starting your collection so manage lego is here to inspire and guide you in legal information so hit the subscribe button and uh, embark on a great journey together so first of all i really want to describe about what is the today uh, what is today content so it is related to the controversy which is right now going on which is in a highly hype which is in between mr sandeep maheshwari who is well known motivational speaker and secondly business tycoon who give management uh, uh, management courses to the students that is mr vivek bindra so uh, this content is not about uh, related to this controversy who is right and who is wrong it is totally provide you updated legal information through practical scenario that it is applicable uh, to within your life okay this is a major purpose of this particular content through our uh, manage question so before proceeding further this is a sensitive issue so disclaimer is required so this content is created exclusively for the purpose of updated uh, to update you on legal information there is no direct or indirect intention to criticize or comment on anyone on our channel so first of all uh, there's a we can we talk about uh, we talk about first of all what is the controversy or background related to that <clears throat> once uh, there was a seminar was conducted through a online portal of our channel of mr sandeep maheshwari where one of the student, student in the form of audience is present then he said that he had purchased uh, some management course uh, without taking a name of the company okay this is a main important point without taking a name of the company then what happened Uh, that uh, they said that i want a refund on that particular course because it is not uh, creating value to that particular student then the particular company said that you need to sell this particular course to four student and we are going to provide you the refund now what happened without having the name of the company that uh, opposite party mr uh, that vivek bindra sent a legal notice to the uh, that sandeep maheshwari and right now because of that what is right or wrong controversy controversy is going on so it falls under which purview of uh, the legal uh, section or what are the steps involved in that what you can do because right now online a lot of defamation is going on and they are going to they will in future going to rise uh, going to rise accordingly okay so it is a common question it is a futuristic in nature so first of all it comes in the domain of the uh, that uh, defamation so what is defamation defamation is something in, in under section 499 of indian penal code 1860 where if someone is going to impute any person okay uh, uh, that uh, another person with either an intention either intention is available they are having knowledge regarding that re, uh, that reason to believe that such imputation will harm the reputation of a person against whom imputation is made if i'm talking about uh, mr sandeep maheshwari and mr vivek bindra both of them are what highly reputed person and their turnover in crores okay because of the defamation what happened there should be a depletion in the brand value or there is a uh, depletion in uh, their net profit or gross margin or gross profit may not margin gross profit may deplete because of this defamation for example if vivek bindra is earning uh, this is an uh, uh, exemplary value which is 5000 cr it may deplete it to 2000 uh, that uh, 200 cr then there is a because of this defamation they are they have they have uh, have uh, damages occurs you know 300 cr so who can bear this okay now that will be discussed later right now what are the points which were involved once all the circumstances may evolve <coughs> in front of you so how do you handle this either this is online or either someone is publicized within a market uh, so document the defamatory statement first of all there is a requirement whatever is the defamatory statement is present either you may take screenshots or copies of publications is very great uh, you can take even you uh, download those uh, in this above scenario this uh, it is available freely on the youtube channel they are blaming one another to these controversial videos and any other relevant document i give one example and what happened uh, that uh, 
the uh, one uh, famous doctor in their south where one person uh, came in contact with that person uh, patient specifically there's something happened uh, that i think so he's not either you know, what happened that patient said that the, uh, the doctors hasn't handled that particular uh, disease of that particular patient properly because of that he bear the uh, loss in health okay so it uh, what he he circulate this information by any particular mean within a society because of that the name and even the uh, profit of that particular doctor deplete okay so this for that the the document which he uh, either verbally he give information to within a society or any pamphlets or brochure which he uh, circulate within the uh, this particular locality or area that can be act as a documentary evidence so it is not there you are going to directly move to any lawyer or somewhere first of all you collect all these documents these are very much required so identify the responsible party now you know that who sometimes whatever you are not able to identify responsible party but whenever whenever you get uh, this particular pamphlet you are not going to identify who all is going uh, going uh, who all involved in this particular case so from where it is printed or manufactured printed from that you can analyze who had booked this particular so there's a requirement that uh, who has done this now with whether it is published online then try to identify the author or the platform hosting the content okay so who is the plot platform who is hosting the content evaluate the statement now the second thing is there that the statement which is provided whether it is comes under the category of defamation or not if if uh, already it is present within a public and someone uh, someone iterated that particular information it doesn't mean or create any sense comes under the category of defamation defamation if it is not publicized and because of that publicizing that particular statement what happens your image may be tarnished or it will affect your business then it comes under the category of defamation so involves it is majorly a false statement it shouldn't be a truthful statement if a statement is uh, to, from the very prima facie or from the very point of view it looks uh, that um, uh, truthful then no defense or no claim can be provided to you on that basis cease and desist letter now here what happens prior to that all these uh, things are going on once you collect so next is cease and desist letter what is cease and desist letter it is similar to notice where what happened the uh, that uh, where the, where advocate sends a letter where typically indicates that you may remove this particular statement which is present on online or on a website and request for apology okay now fifth is if retraction and apology is provided this is the next point provided or given to you or the concerned party apologize from you then they may provide damages whatever is the losses occur to the party now explore mediation and adr okay for the, if we, if you suit or if your case in uh, the court then what happens they may provide then you go through a mediation whatever losses are there so it, because it is faster it 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 is yeah, that it save you time for a lengthy process so if it doesn't work out at last you file a lawsuit okay so this is a whatever that's why i said that you collect all the evidence and this is these are step by step step processes you file a lawsuit for defamation this involves initiating legal proceeding against the party who is responsible you know, and then your attorney will guide you regarding that whatever are the procedures are there it depends on jurisdiction to jurisdiction few rules may change it is not there it is a same but 80 to 90 percent rules are same now now if even within a court there they provide you one chance also settlement through a negotiation if it doesn't happen the trial may occur then after that uh, whatever are the damages or if it is found out or uh, find out that the damages should be paid to the concerned party then you may need to pay that and the then the, the against whom the order has been made they may appeal on the above level of, of hierarchy from the uh, district court to high court then supreme court so these are the steps which are involved so in that case right now both are having sandeep maheshwari mr and mr vivek bindra both are having a, the same applicable uh, applicability because they both of them are them are defaming in the sense and because of defamation their number of subscriber de decreases so reputation depleted and for vivek bindra on the because he is in the product uh, business uh, we are managing the management course business the the for because of that they are business depleted they may uh, file a suit because of defamation this much of 
uh, even mental agony or this much of loss he had occur and on the other side sandeep maheshwari also he may do that so it is totally depend what kind of steps they may take but these are the steps actually should be followed if any online uh, online uh, defamatory marks made among the both of these parties because right now it is common in the online segment right now even trademark issues are also going on so it is all about this defamation and thank you very much and i will be with you with a new topic bye bye